this was definitely a huge opportunity for them to take advantage of multi-core technology. That was back in 2008. Um, today, it's all about bringing more people into machining and it's about bringing people into the world of 3D. Um, and we're very proud to play a role in that. And we had to sort of keep it quiet <laughs> because we didn't want people to jump, you know, uh, jump, beat us to it. But, um, but now we've made our announcement about HSM Express and so I'm really glad that you were able to fly out um, and, and like I mentioned during our press um, announcement, your team was out in Colorado at Autodesk University um, and couldn't make it here today. So uh, Tom was gracious enough to join join us. So thanks for coming by. Oh, Anthony, thank you. I'm thrilled to be here. Uh, it's a great announcement today. And you did keep it very quiet. I was quite surprised right. when, you, uh, <laughs> uh, when you described uh, HSM Express, which is, as you described, a free CAM solution for SOLIDWORKS users. Can right. you tell us a little bit about uh, you know, what you're trying to accomplish with this free CAM solution? Sure. Uh, as we had talked about in, in our press announcement, there, there are really two communities that we're trying to serve with HSM Express. The first community is obviously um, the designer and engineer who is proficient with SolidWorks that is looking for an integrated CAM solution that does not want the standalone CAM solution, and we can talk about why, but they want to get into machining. There are some market forces, uh, cost, scheduling, um, or delays, another way of looking at it, that are requiring designers and engineers who, who are generally um, part of either two groups. Either they are small companies, small businesses, and they need to have some type of cost controls, they need to have some stability in pricing and costing so that they know how to price their products, um, and they also have to have some stability in scheduling because you can't run a business successfully and profitably if you cannot anticipate and have reliable delivery of product. You, your, your reseller channel um, will never put up with it, especially if you're developing products that are being sold in, in mass retailers. It's impossible. I mean, you need to know 18 months. Uh, before delivery that that stuff is going to make it to them. So for that community, we want to get them into machining because machining offers them price stability, stability for scheduling um, through a product that is easy to use. There's, If you know SolidWorks, there's zero learning curve, not only with HSM Express, but with HSM Works. The real, the real challenge for those guys is to learn machining. And so it's not just releasing HSM Express, but it's also partnering with the right people to make sure that we supply that community with the information that they need. Um, and, and you are one of those people uh, that we have to partner with. And then the second group of people is the 2D people, who I say are, they're stuck in the world of 2D um, because A, they don't recognize the benefits of 3D, uh, but they don't recognize the benefits of 3D because their CAM system, that standalone CAM system that they have a lot of money invested in, they're afraid to look at integrated CAM because they're afraid of the expense and the cost. We know that integration pays for itself almost immediately. So if we have a free product for them that's a fully functional product, but a free product then now we've just cut the price of getting into 3D in half because it's not just, one of the things that's funny, I talked to a lot of SOLIDWORKS resellers, we're going to interview um, with a SOLIDWORKS reseller, Cat Edge, in a little bit. And a lot of the SOLIDWORKS resellers are like, man, why can't I sell to these machine shops? The answer is you're not selling CAM, you're selling CAD. And those machine shops are not going to switch CAD for CAD without doing CAD and CAM. They're not going to do it. So we recognize that, and I think that's one of our uh, competitive advantages, is that knowledge, not just our products, but the knowledge that we understand those two markets and we understand how to help them, um, I think is, is one of the really big differences between us and really everybody else in the industry. Mm -hmm. so you mentioned this is something that's going to bring people uh, from the 2D world to the 3D world, uh, 3D CAD world. And I think you inferred or stated one of the reasons that people haven't done that yet is a price. There's a price barrier, a cost barrier. Are there any other barriers that have prevented people from, say, going 2D to 3D from your standpoint, or from going from 3D, integrating from 3D, 
3D CAD into CAM? Well, um, there's two questions. The first question, I think that it's not necessarily the price of the software that's held people back, and I'm, I'm sort of talking out of turn a little bit because I am by no means an expert in the 3D solid modeling community. There's guys like Josh Mings of Solid Smack and, and, and lots of bloggers and lots of guys that know a lot more than I do. But just as from an observer, an observer of the industry, I think um, it's not the cost of the product because $5,000 for SolidWorks is, I mean, if you're in business and you can't afford $5,000, but it's the fact that the investment, it's not the $5,000, it's the investment in the people that are running the software, it's the investment in training, it's the amount of perceived downtime. How quickly can I transition from one technology to another? That's what I mean by the cost. And that's why it's so important to understand that if you don't have a fully integrated product, which gets to the second part of your question, you never, you, that cost is real and it is, it's insurmountable for most people. Now, when we talk about integration, having your 3D solid modeling tools, SolidWorks, obviously there's Inventor, there's Space Claim, um, uh, to name the three probably most popular, not including your, your products from PTC and, and, and uh, Siemens and, and, and Disso, but it's, it's the CAD and the CAM. The CAD and the CAM integration is where you have the benefit, but you only have that benefit because I, I we did a CAD CAM slam with SolidWorks a couple weeks ago, and I made a comment in, in our presentation that just because you run inside of SolidWorks, and I guess you could use this analogy with any of the other products, just because you run inside of a CAD product doesn't make you integrated any more than if you spend the night in your garage, you're not gonna wake up as a car. You're still gonna be a car. And we emphasize the integration because without that tight integration, then, I mean, who cares that it's running inside of the CAD product? Literally, who cares? If you're just popping up a window inside of SolidWorks or you're popping up a window inside of some other uh, 3D solid modeling tool, um, there's very little value there. Not enough value to make a jump. Um, a jump that's gonna be positive, but people don't see that immediately. Anthony, uh, talk a little bit about the real tangible benefits from integration. So, well, you, I mean, you mentioned that sure. this really isn't about cost. You know, right. SolidWorks at five thousand dollars isn't right. a lot of money. HSM Express now free, but right. as you said, it's not. You know, implementing technology is right. often not about the cost of it. It's sure. about something else. But right. so talk about the tangible benefits that particularly sure. small and medium-sized businesses could realize from an integrated CAD CAM solution. Right. One thing, and I have, to, and this is one reason why we love partnering with SolidWorks because they they get this. Um, they use this during their CAD CAM Slam series, which is a series introducing all of the integrated solutions, uh, CAM solutions for SolidWorks uh, to the SolidWorks user community. Um, they make this point, and that is each step along the way when you have a non-integrated solution there is the potential to lose design intent moving from CAD into CAM, either through the translation process um, or, uh, well, the translation process is probably the biggest reason. Go, moving from, from one product into a completely different product, you can lose design intent, you can lose very valuable data that goes along with the model. Um, and so that's a significant factor. That is a huge benefit to the integration. The other benefit is data management. If it's done right, if the integration is done right, and all of the information uh, for your CAM um, um, data is stored in the SOLIDWORKS file, uh, the SOLIDWORKS part file or assembly, that's a huge benefit because now I'm managing one file for both my CAD and my CAM. So you can't even talk about PDM and PLM. That's a huge push. A lot of the major companies, Dassault, um, Siemens, PTC, they're all pushing PLM and PDM. Guess what? You've just doubled the amount of work implementing a PDM or PDM system if that data resides in two different formats. So that's another huge uh, benefit. The other benefit of integration is training because with a truly integrated product, you train the user on one interface, one workflow, not two. So if you have to bring somebody in, I mean, that streamline, streamlines training tremendously. One of our customers, who is a, a, a very large company, 
very large customer of, of SolidWorks, told me that, that it almost costs double for business units within their organization for training the ones that are not using an integrated solution. Double, and that's probably a conservative estimate. So the savings through integration are significant, and not only that, people that have an integrated product, I think generally like to wake up and go to work because it's fun using the tools. They're not, you know, that's one of the things about CAM too. Traditional CAM, a lot of people, we have the advantage of being the newest CAM company on the market. So if we're not doing things right, shame on us. I mean, we should be doing it right, or why are we even getting into business? But traditional CAM companies, if we had 150,000 users, it would be difficult for us to steer our ship as quickly as we can do it. I mean, we're like the speedboat right now. Um, so we recognize that, and we don't, we don't hold that against companies. They have large install bases that they have to service and support, and there's nothing wrong with that. If we had been around here 15 years ago, we'd be in the same boat. 15 years from now, we're going to be in the same boat as far as customers, but hopefully we won't have lost that agility. But it's very important to understand that that the investment in integration, um, or excuse me, in an integrated solution is really a total cost of ownership approach to it. There's immediate benefits, people like using it, the user experience is much better, but there are real business value uh, values that you can attach to moving to the integrated type solution. And I